Here's your Storm Track 5 weather forecast. Now, meteorologist Ricky Matthews. Well, good morning. You're going to like today's Storm Track 5 forecast because it doesn't involve much rain. A lot less rain today than what we saw yesterday. And the skies this morning already show you that. A live look from East Stone Drive shows just a few clouds. A lot of that probably is actually fog out there this morning. Temperatures 60 degrees, kind of mix of sun and clouds, but calm winds this morning. Check out the fog of Watauga Lake, though. You can see how foggy it is out there. And some areas do have some reduced visibility this morning. But temperatures are pretty nice. 61 in Jonesville, 63 in Wise, 60 in Clintwood, and 61 in Marion. Live max radar sweeping clear, but we did have some rain yesterday. Some areas picking up over an inch of rain, another half inch report for some rain. And we really need the rain because we're in a, what's called an abnormally dry period now on our drought monitor that being issued last Tuesday. So we need the rain around the area. We may see a little bit this afternoon. Temperatures will climb up into the mid to upper 80s this afternoon. Kind of scattered showers and storms around, but a better chance of rain comes on Sunday. A cold front will approach us tonight and through the day on Sunday. So temperatures in the morning will generally be in the low 60s, but by the afternoon we'll climb into the lower 80s with some scattered showers and storms around. Some of those could be on the strong to maybe even slightly severe side, some damaging winds and hail, the main threat, and some heavy downpours as well. For many of those storms tomorrow and then Monday morning we clear out, but we will see a chance of storms once again later in the day. So your severe threat tracker, we're tracking some isolated storms today, but scattered storms as we go into Sunday and Monday. And what do we really mean when we say that? When we say scattered, we generally mean about a 30 to 50 percent chance of some rain around isolated around 20 percent. So that means a lot less area we'll see when we say isolated versus scattered. And of course, when we say about a 10 percent chance, most areas will stay dry and greater numbers, more rain across the area. So your sky tracker for today has about a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain this afternoon. So some areas may see it. Most of you will not. As we go into the evening, those rain showers or what we have will die off. Maybe an isolated thunderstorm early, but otherwise partly sunny and kind of a nice evening across the area, southwest wind around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Your highs this afternoon, and we're thinking about 87 in the Tri-Cities, 85 in Lebanon and towards Richlands, 85 in Abington, 84 in Norton, 85 in Jonesville, upper 80s as you go further south towards Rogersville and Greenville. And then tonight, your lows, I think, will generally be around the upper 60s, maybe 60 in Marion, 61 in Boone, 60 towards Jonesville, and 61 in Norton once again. So in your 7-day forecast, we'll show you the first three days first. We've got that 20% chance of rain on Saturday. Better chances of rain than moving in for Sunday and Monday. About an 82 for a high on Sunday, 80 on Monday. And then we kind of keep this summer-like pattern around with some chances for scattered showers and storms through the next four days after. And the temperatures stay above normal as well. We're going to see temperatures generally in the low to maybe mid-80s from day to day. I think as we go into Tuesday, we're going to see about a 30% chance for so most of those will be in the mountains, and then on Wednesday, most of those will also be in the mountains as well. Thursday and Friday, kind of an increased chance of rain, but I think as we get later into the period, we may have to up those rain chances just a little bit, Stephanie. But today, it looks like it's definitely going to be the hottest day of the week. Today will definitely be the hottest day of the week. A great pool day if you don't get caught underneath one of those isolated showers or thunderstorms. And of course, if you ever hear lightning and thunder, make sure head and doors don't risk it being out there in the pool. All right. Thanks so much, Ricky. Yep. A local program is